Hello and welcome to another Cantec training video. Today we'll be looking at basic IP communication troubleshooting. First thing you need to do is verify the communication status. This can indicate the reason for the communication issue and accelerate troubleshooting. Go to Operation, Site and Connection to verify the communication status. There are several possible messages. We'll only be looking at the most common. Gateway not connected. This one means that the Enterpass Gateway cannot communicate with the server. It may simply not be running. IP device disabled. Go to Devices Connection and check the online box. IP device communication unknown. This is an intermediary status. Wait a moment to see if communication starts or fails. If it's still at IP device communication unknown after a minute or two, you may need to reboot the computer. Failed to reach IP device. This one indicates that the controller was seen on a network but for some reason fails to respond. The most common causes are the controller needs to be defaulted before trying to establish communication or it has the wrong Enterprise Gateway programmed. Broadcast IP device succeeded, waiting for heartbeat. This means that the controller was seen and is currently rebooting. We have to wait until it's finished to see if it's going to be able to communicate. IP device communication failed. If you get this message, you need to troubleshoot as there are multiple possible causes. Before doing any troubleshooting, we need to understand IP communication. We'll be separating this into two sections, communicating through the local network or LAN and communicating through the Internet or WAN. The controller will initiate communication with the software. It will send a request on port 18802 and await for an answer on a random port. This communication, of course, can be blocked by a firewall or an antivirus. Communication through the WAN is slightly different. The controller sends its request on port 18802 to the public IP of where the software is. The port needs to be forwarded to the computer running Entropass. Request is received by Entropass, it will answer on a random port. There cannot be any communication if the port isn't forwarded to the correct computer or if the port is blocked by the computer firewall or antivirus. It can also be blocked by the router. The very first step in troubleshooting an IP communication issue is gathering information. We will need all this to be able to troubleshoot correctly. Open a command prompt and type ipconfig space slash all. Look for the IPv4 address and make certain that DHCP is disabled. Go to Devices Gateway select your gateway and go to default public IP address. Make sure you've got the same IP address that you just wrote down. Now go to devices connection and select your connection. Verify the connection type to make sure it's the appropriate one. Go to IP device IP configuration. Validate the MAC. It does not auto-populate. You have to enter it yourself. Make sure the online box is checked and verify the IP address that's selected there with the subnet and gateway and protocol. We strongly recommend using TCP. Override gateway IP address should not be checked. Go to IP Device Automated Connection and make sure the Broadcast Configuration box is checked.
under Special Edition, go to Devices, Application, select your workstation, and you will find your EntraPass Gateway at the bottom right. You can use KT Finder to validate the information inside the controller. Stop your gateway and start the KT Finder program. Select your device and enter the MAC address. Here you will see your EntraPass gateway and the controller information. If the controller has already communicated, you won't be able to change any information. You may have to default the controller. If you suspect there's an IP conflict, open command prompt and ping the IP. After it's responded, disconnect the controller and ping it again. If you still get an answer, you've got an IP conflict. We can test the TCP port 18802 by using the telnet function. If you telnet the IP of the computer from a laptop, with port 18802, you will see if this port is open. In this case, Telnet is failing. That means it could be blocked by the antivirus or the firewall. If you test the port successfully, you'll see that what you get is a blank screen with just a cursor flashing. This indicates the port is open. Here are a few hints to help you troubleshoot your IP communication. If the first controller in your IP loop has a serial number under devices controller, it has communicated at one point. If you see your controller start to communicate, reboot, and not communicate again, that means that you have the incorrect information programmed in devices connection. How do you know if the controller is communicated or not? Well, that's very simple. If you can see the serial number in devices controller, that means that your controller has communicated at one point. If after all these steps you're still having communication issues, contact technical support and we'll be able to help you resolve this issue. Hope you enjoyed the video.